Okay, so we're continuing my countdown to Halloween, and we are on my favorite Zombie Jason um, sequel. Um, the only good Zombie Jason sequel, in my opinion. And um, so I'm just going to explain the plot. So there's going to be spoilers. Now, the plot is basically um, we have our lead, new lead character, um, which is her name is Tina. She has special abilities, and she accidentally killed her killed her dad at, at a young age when he when her when their parents were fighting and um and she's been carrying that guilt for like years and her mom takes her back you know to you know back to where they once lived and and there just there, there's this supposed doctor who supposedly is going to try to help her through it and um and since she is really carrying this guilt it's really is really weighing in down on her life I mean like and you can feel that and she is a very um, very you know likable lead character in my opinion and 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 then this drives her to um, try to bring her dad back but instead she, you know like um, she brings Jason back instead you know like by accident and um, I gotta say Jason's look in this movie ugh, it's terrifying the most terrifying look of zombie Jason ever and also the music score was very terrifying the movie poster was terrifying and the characters in the movie do not feel like they're over the top or anything some are more likable than others but they still you know they still were acceptable to me but um, unlike the last two sequels where they were lighthearted and it's and a lot of the characters were just like like Ugh, like it felt like it felt like they paradised Friday the Thirteenth, you know, like, and the, and those other two sequels um, prior to this one, but they took they took all that out of there and they threw it right in the garbage. So it's like it's like they took the franchise into a much darker tone than it than it's ever been in before, and um, and I gotta say um. And the doctor turns out to have a different agenda, wherever he, I guess he wanted to, um, like, you know, like it seems like he doesn't really want to help her. <laughs> it seems like he's, you know, you know, he's just like a dick. He's just like a real, real dick. And um, and also, um, and don't get me started on how Tina's mom died. I mean, like, you know, like, like once again, the doctor's a dick. But he, but karma, you know, got got to him not too long after that. So. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna get to the ending, and um, the way um, eventually it ends with um, Tina actually, really, actually bringing her dad back this time, and he pulls Jason into the lake, and then I guess that's how he dies. I guess, I guess. But um, like, how? I mean, like they did an alternate version where her dad had a zombie look to him. Like it's been how many years since he died, and then in the actual movie. He looks just the same as he did, like, from, like, years back. Like, okay, what the hell? <laughs> and, and it happened, and so it happens that Tina used to live, like, right where Crystal Lake is, or Lake Forest Green used to be, I guess? Like, huh? Or close by? It seems like they're at, right at, right at where the, where the camp was, but okay it is what it is but you know it has minor flaws but it's still a very acceptable sequel of the zombie jason arc in my opinion so with that all being said this gets three and a half chair spans out of five one two three and a half uh that was almost four three and a half chair spins so um yeah, if you guys enjoyed my review on this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>